to myself What a wonderful world Hello everybody and welcome back to SoCal Explorer. My name is Scott. You are watching the number one stop for all things theme park related in the Southern California area. How are we all doing today? Today brings us back out to the Disneyland Resort, DCA and Pacific for their Lunar New Year festivities. It is the year of the rat. There's tons of stuff going on. Hey, maybe we'll even try some stuff today. Some food offerings that they have for the Lunar New Year event over in Disney's California Adventure, but we're gonna be checking out all things Lunar New Year and just getting an overall park update and have some fun here at the Disneyland Resort. Like I said, DCA in specific, we woke up early today to, because today is the second day of Rise of the Resistance opening, so we're able to get boarding group fives. We already rode it for our second time. We're here on opening day bright and early in the morning yesterday, so if you wanna check out that full experience, of Rise of the Resistance opening day here at Disneyland. Click the link in the description. But today, let's have some fun at the Lunar New Year event at Disney's California Adventure for 2020, the year of the rat. Savannah has decided to take it upon herself to feed the ducks pretzels. Look at them, they're not phased by us at all. Oh, they don't like the pretzels, but they like the French toast that, they, that she fed them a couple minutes ago. Look at them, such good friends scavenging the galactic grill for food. Hey, it's not the year of the duck, it's the year of the rat. Go away. No, oh, they're getting closer. What are you guys doing? Stop. Leave us alone. Yeah, there's a pretzel right there for you. You don't like it? Too salty? Before we go into California Adventure, just wanna let you guys know that It's a Small World is back up and running. No more holiday version, just plain old boring, it's a small world. Not boring though, the classic's always the best. And like I said, we were here yesterday, so Savannah already got her hands on the lunar ears. They're really pretty though, she's been getting compliments all day already, and it's only been like three hours. But they are very pretty indeed. How much were they? Um, like 25 after my discount. 25 after the signature discount for the pretty Lunar New Year ears. Ah uh, yes, the Lunar New Year map. There it is. Rats. So, these are mouses. Now Disney's advertising it as the year of the mouse, but it's the year of the rat. They could have put like Remy on the front of this or something, but I don't think they have costumes of Remy in like Lunar New Year attire. There it is, Lunar New Year, the year of the mouse, even though, like I said, it's the year of the rat. I love this little archway leading into all the Lunar New Year festivities. Looks pretty every single year. I can already see there's a big crowd of people in line for the first food booth over here. And they do have the sip and savor passes, which come with six different options. I don't know what the price is, but they do have the sip and savor passes. This is the first booth over here. Red Spice, Red Dragon Spice Traders. And oh my goodness, the line is horrendously long. There's the food options right there. Firecracker, three cup chicken wings, purple yam macaroon, and a honey lime green tea. Oh, and they also have shrimp and ginger dumplings. But this is insane. Here, I'm gonna lift you guys up so you can see the line. <laughs> switches all the way back here to, or switches all the way to the back or the entrance of Little Mermaid and comes all the way over here at the very front. Some different assorted plush here. A cool looking shirt. They have some cool keychains down here. These are really neat. They're pretty big too. This is how they look in the palm of my hand. Let's ship and deal on them. They also have a bunch of pins over there. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get over there, but. Yeah, and I was saying like how I, I think that there's different sizes in the other stores, but they're pretty limited. What are these things? Are these like light up sticks or something? Or here. What are they? 
I think they're just light up toys, right? Let's see what it says. Lantern wand. Oh, lantern wand. Okay, so yeah, they're like a little light up toy, like a, a wand. How much? How much do you have to pay for your kid to have that? Twenty dollars? That's a lot of money. No. I mean, I guess it's just kind of one of those souvenir things for your kids. At twenty dollars, I'd tell my kid, no way. Right in front of the Little Mermaid Show Building is where you can buy the Sip and Saver passes. You can also buy them at that marketplace. So I'm kind of curious to see if people are waiting in line over there to buy the Sip and Saver passes. But there's no line right here. Not really a line at all. So right here on the actual pier area is where you can, or the boardwalk area is where you can watch M Mulan's Lunar New Year procession. We'll come back over here in a couple minutes because there's one at one o'clock. It's like. 12:10 right now, so we'll come back over here and enjoy that show. Of course, they got red and yellow Mickey balloons, and they also got some themed to Lunar New Year right there. Pretty neat, but pretty expensive balloons. The wind's blowing a little bit, so they're blowing towards me. Oh my goodness, they're gonna come over here and hit me. Always looking pretty though, Mickey balloons. As we make our way farther back, this is where all the activities are happening, where you can meet different Lunar New Year themed characters like Mulan and Mushu, Mickey and Minnie in their different Lunar New Year attire and there's some other activities back here that we're going to explore. As always we got to write our New Year's wishes back here and hang them up there. So we're going to go do that right now. It's a very popular area as you can see. I got my little card and the strings right there and a pen. Don't know what I'm going to wish for yet but I'll show you guys after. I put mine up with my terrible handwriting. My New Year's wish is for Rise of the Resistance boarding groups to be eliminated very, very soon. And all in this area, they got tables with Lunar New Year covers on them. I really like it. Adds to the theming of this whole Lunar New Year area, especially with the lanterns all above. It's a nice little place to eat back here. Except for, there's tons of screams going on because of the goofy sky skull right there. But I like this little area. It's nice. Wouldn't say quiet, but a nice little area to eat. Oh look, there's entertainment coming through with lion dancers. All right. Let's see who's meeting and greeting over here right now. I think it's Mulan, but is Mushu over there? Let's see, I'll lift you guys up. No, I think I just see Mulan in there meeting and greeting. No Mushu right now. But I'm sure it's just Mulan. There's no Mushu right now. Mushu would be the cool one to meet. Mulan's usually out. Mushu Savannah? Savannah's never watched Mulan, so Mushu is like essentially Mulan's sidekick. The dragon? Yep. Or no, it's not the sidekick. I'm dumb. Her, her ancestors like send her or send the dragon out to. Protect over Mulan yeah, I've in the war. Yeah, watched it, but you don't even know yeah, what you're well, talking about. Yeah, well, oh well. You know, it's been a while. Over on this small stage in the seating area, they have the Melody of China. Many different showtimes throughout the day for you to enjoy some good old music. And this is also a very nice stage to always just sit in front of because it's a shaded area. And like I said, just enjoy some music and enjoy some food from one of the various food locations back here. Also back here, you can find out what animal you are based on the year that you were born. So like me, I am the year of the dragon because I was born in 2000. So I'm the year of Mushu. I always found it cool that I'm the year of the dragon. The dragon's just such a cool animal. You're the snake. But yeah, they have all of them way, all the way over here. Nice little board out here. Interesting thing, over here at these two food booths, which is right in front of the Golden Zephyr, you can actually mobile order. Oh, all of them say you can mobile order? So I guess all of them you can mobile order. What does this one have to offer? 
Vietnamese cold brew with coconut milk. That's cold brew coffee, I'm assuming. Black sesame mochi donut. Chewy mochi donut topped with black sesame icing and then chicken meatballs and loin mein noodles, vegetable egg roll, and chilled sesame garlic noodles. Looks like some pretty good stuff, and that is at the, I don't know how to say that, but the noodle company place over here. Yeah, right in front of Golden Zebra, and they also have another booth over there. Well, I think that one's called Lucky Lantern. So this one, they have shrimp fried rice, smoked beef, short rib, mandarin orange green tea tart, and they also have a some type of alcoholic beverage down there. I don't know how to pronounce it, though. And yeah, this is called Lucky Lantern. Like... I thought it was called. We made our way back over here. We're going to be waiting for, or we're going to watch the Mulan's Lunar New Year procession show. Starts in about 15 minutes. So we're just waiting out here. Mulan and her dragon friend Mushu invite families and friends to our Lunar New Year celebration as we welcome in the Year of the Mouse. Flowing silk fans represent beauty, grace, and delicacy, and express feelings of joy. Thank you for joining us for Mulan's Lunar New Year procession. We wish you all good fortune and a happy new year. Chúc mừng năm mới. Xin nhan khoai lơ. Xe bốc mani patiseo. Look how pretty this looks out here. All decked out in the red ribbon. So it really looks even prettier at night, assuming that they keep the, assuming that they turn the lights on with it. to get a glimpse of where this is at, if you're not familiar with the park. The archway that we were at earlier is right over there. The Lunar New Year archway. That show is pretty neat though. Nice, simple show. One ongoing thing that I've been noticing about yesterday and today is the amount of skull groups that there are, that there are here at the resort. There's like tons of skull groups. What's crazy is there's a lot more school groups today than there were yesterday, and today is a weekend. But I think that's a part of the, like, the youth education series that Disney hosts. So, that's probably what it is. That does it for our trip out here to Disney's California Adventure for the Lunar New Year 2020 festivities. It was a fun day. We got to see a lot of different Lunar New Year stuff, and enjoy a lot of different Lunar New Year festivities. And overall, it was just fun. I love the Lunar New Year event, even though it's for a short time. I don't know when exactly it ends, but you guys can check the Disneyland website for that. But I love coming out here for the Lunar New Year stuff. So, but that, that, that concludes the day for us. Sorry, I 
lost track of where I was. People are looking at me weird. <laughs> Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this every single week with those bell notifications on. And follow our social media at SoCal Exploring Media on Instagram and at SoCal Exploring on Twitter. My name is Scott. You've been watching SoCal Exploring. Positivity is key. And most importantly, remember to keep exploring. Peace.